Hi guys, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today is a Matt's Movie Review. So we're in the month of October, so Halloween month, so why not do another horror film? So today we're going to be looking at the film The Pope's Exorcist. This film came out in this year, 2023, and it stars Russell Crowe. So, yep, yeah, we're going to get into it. My thoughts on the film right after the intro. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so, yeah, let's get into the review. So, The Pope's Exorcist came out in 2023, and in the UK it was a certificate of 15. It ran for one hour and 43 minutes. Father Gabriel Amoth, chief exorcist for the Vatican, battles Satan and innocent possessing demons. A detailed portrait of the priest who performed more than 100,000 exorcisms in his lifetime. Cast included Russell Crowe as Gabriel Amoth, Laura Marsden as Amy Vasquez, Alex Esu as Julia, Carrie Munro as Adela, Peter Dazus E. Honey, I may be pronouncing that wrong, Henry Vasquez, Daniel Zovato as Esquibel Atea, Franco Nero as Il Papa, or the Pope, Bianca Bardo Rosia. And the voice of the demon was Ralph Inson. That's the guy that was in The Office. He played in The Office and you'll have seen him in various other films. Corneli John as Bishop Lumbamba. Okay, so on to the film. So the film kind of opens and it shows a family, um, a mother and daughter and a son. And they're travelling towards um, an abbey. Um, which they've inherited um, from um, the deceased husband's side of the family. And this is in Spain. So they're travelling to start a new life um, whilst renovation of this abbey is um, undergoing. So it can be then sold so that they can sort of get some money because they don't have an income while the mother doesn't have an income. So they can then return back to in, uh, the USA. So we're quickly sort of shown um, kind of the, the makeup of the um, family, the daughter, sort of a teenager and sort of very much doesn't want to be here, you know, in, in, in this um, place. And the son who is kind of um, been kind of disturbed by the events of his father's death in, an, in a car accident. He witnessed his death, so he hasn't spoken for a year. Now, just a little rewind back a little bit um, before we're actually introduced to that family. Um, we are sort of shown um, the character of um, played by Russell Crowe, the exorcist. And he's gone to a, a family um, to perform an analysis on a boy or young man um, in, a, in a sort of um, probably like a small house. And... Um, Kind of does this sort of exorcism which is not actually been sort of authorized by the church but basically sort of takes the spirit or the demon shall we say out of the out of the boy and into a pig um, you then sort of set up and it kind of tells you a little bit about who he is and obviously he's working directly from the vatican from the pope and um he goes in front of a sort of panel of um priests within the Vatican and kind of has to sort of explain himself as to what's happened in this event and um, it's almost being considered that really he's not worthy of this job anymore as the chief exorcist and um, his kind of career in this uh, sort of part of the church is sort of into question. We then get news, um, obviously events start to show that um, the young boy um, is down in the sort of sort of um, cellar part of the abbey or sort of lower part of the abbey and um, there's a lot of construction work going on 
and um, the boy sort of finds a bit of a hole in the wall and sort of reaches in and you can see like what looks like a seal and um, this kind of starts to obviously then show um, him being kind of slowly possessed as with a lot of these possession films you kind of see this sort of slow transition um, from just being you know um, perfectly healthy to kind of this sort of um, you know sort of look of being sort of taken over by a demon and um, this sort of happens throughout the film and you start to see his sort of change and being possessed and all the rest of it so um, yeah um, word of this has got um, through there's a local priest um, who's sort of <coughs> already sort of introduced himself to the family when they arrived and he's been sort of um, called in to sort of, sort of see events and um, they go through a lot of medical examinations in cases sort of mental health issues with the boy so he's taken to hospital and all this kind of thing and um, anyway sort of events or sort of word of, of the events um, get back to the Vatican and the Pope kind of tells um, the chief exorcist that he needs to go and sort of look into this and obviously help this boy so father gabriel um he's quite a sort of jolly character um played very well by um russell crowe you know russell crowe always puts in a fantastic performance and um he at the start of the film and even throughout the film he does say a lot of italian and he's very convincing um you know he's his italian dialect and it is very good um uh, but he's sort of sort of between sort of italian and english throughout the film um so that sort of brings a little bit more sort of realism to it shall we say um from the point of view of the um of the father now he obviously comes to the um to the abbey to see the child and he quickly realizes that this demon is quite a powerful demon and is very much interested in him um, and so as the film progresses it's very much the similar sort of format that we see in a lot of these sort of possession films very much a battle between good and evil and this is no exception um, now without sort of going into too much sort of, of the plot sort of well conclusions to the film i don't want to give spoilers away i think it's it's definitely worth watching this film um but it becomes a little bit sort of fantasy based in a way um which in some kind of ways is more entertaining than your typical sort of um possession film shall we say um obviously a lot of this is down to interpretation and um belief um some people believe that you know sort of possession is real in you know in the world others you know very fantasy and i think this kind of treads a line of sort of whilst it's stepping one toe into the sort of realism um because this is based on a true character um that lived up until i believe 2017 2016 something like that and he performed a lot of exorcisms throughout his history so it kind of gives you that sort of um realistic backstory sort of you know but it then kind of delves in very much towards the end of the film there's very much a, f a fantasy kind of feel to this um so it's very entertaining um uh, i recently sort of um reviewed the exorcist believer the first new trilogy of films sort of based on the original um exorcist film um I felt with that film it didn't sort of step into the fantasy sort of element of things um i personally i would say this is a far more entertaining film uh, the pope's exorcist i felt that kind of fantasy element toward the end almost gave you a sort of um yeah it just felt more entertaining in my opinion um and there's the potential, I think, possibly for further sequels, maybe different cases that he he um, could go on. I don't know. Um, it may just be a one and done, uh, but I could certainly see a sort of potential spin-off, you know, or sequel to this with him sort of doing another story. Um, 
yeah, a thoroughly entertaining film. Really enjoyed it. As I say, far far better in my opinion than the, the new Exorcist film. Um, and if, if I was rating this sort of between sort of out of five, I would certainly say between a three and a half and a four. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. I thought it was very well done. Yes, very f fantasy based. You know, a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> but for you know. A good sort of just over two hours film very entertaining so i'd highly recommend it so if you're new to the channel um, thanks for watching the review um why not consider subscribing to the channel by hitting the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you'll be informed when i upload a new video welcome back to existing subscribers as well hope you're all doing well keeping safe please give the video a thumbs up that really does help out the channel and it tells YouTube that you like these sorts of videos and that encourages me to create more content for you to enjoy. Let's stick down in the comments. Have you seen this film? What did you think of it? Um, you know, did you enjoy it or did you just think, oh, you know, it's just another possession film? Um, you know, for, for me, I think it's, um, yes, it did sort of follow that format, but it did try to do something a little bit different. Um, you know, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Anyway, that's the end of the review. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye now.